Hello and good Thursday evening, everybody. We are back. We were gone last week, but we are back today. It is Thursday. It is the eve of the weekend of yeah. Canadian Thanksgiving. Yes. Uh, is coming this very weekend. Mm -hmm. And do you know what I'm thankful for, Doug? I don't. I mean, I could guess, but I'm, I'm going to let you tell me. I'm thankful for a very important thing in my life. And it's not food. You'd think it was food. It, I it would think it is... was beer. Is oh, it? That's a, a very good guess. It's not beer. It's what about Doug, puppies? Actually. Oh, thanks, <laughs> How you Shane. Doing, Doug? I'm doing very it well, is... and I'm doing even better now that you have paid me a compliment. <laughs> yes, I'm very grateful that uh, I have you, Doug. And puppies, and food, and beer. You know... It sounds Hell, like you have a pretty coffee on the list. You sound like you have a very privileged life. <laughs> it's, it's very <laughs> true. I do. Indeed, I do. Well, likewise, hey. Shane, I am thankful for you. I'm thankful for Bia. I'm thankful for Rowie. And uh, I'm just thankful that uh, we get to do this every week and hang out and create. And uh, just, you know, build relationships and continue to grow them. Wow, that is uh, that's great. Dig in, everybody. Yeah. That's something that you'd say at Thanksgiving dinner. You would. That's, I would. That's a good Thanksgiving dinner speech. Eat up. Fire it in you. <laughs> we have a turkey. We have a tofurkey. We have uh, a nice gravy. We have a a, a good uh, bit of corn. We got some corn on the oh. on the cob, even. Now, Shane, uh, when you're having the uh, tofurkey, what kind of gravy are you making? Well, you make you start so you use vegetable stock instead of the chicken yeah. stock. Okay. And then you just you just make gravy like you would. No pan drippings though. But right. you know what you can do, which is really good, is if if you are well, I don't. That's why more, I'm asking. A little bit more rambunctious. No, is you could do a worse. nice m mushroom gravy. Well, I use do. a little bit. Like a mushroom. Oh, yeah, of course. Of course. Use a little bit of white wine. You could even make a mushroom cream sauce, which is a little bit better than a mushroom gravy to me. You know, one thing I But it's not very Thanksgiving-y. You know, I, and this isn't Thanksgiving-y, but I'm going to talk about it because you just reminded me of it, is this was the summer of chowder for me. Ooh, that's a good one. I had... I didn't plan it. I just really got into having chowder in a lot of places. Just trying it out. I love a good chowder. Well, I discovered this beautiful lobster chowder um, that's almost got like a lobster bisque base. It's so good. So it's a bisque. But it's a chowder. I thought you'd be more excited. Where was where? I am. I'm just. I'm just like really trying to wrap my head around the the bisque base, but it's not a bisque thing. Well, you know, some chowders have um, a cream base. Some have a potato base. This has a bisque base. Doesn't that make it a bisque? Is the thing that I'm. Wondering. Well, I thought the chunks of meat make it a chowder. No. Uh, I don't. No, because we had a nice lobster bisque that had a chunks of lobster in it at one of the restaurants I worked. Oh yeah. So you had a, you had a lobster chowder then? That sounds delicious. Oh my god, so good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want a lobster chowder. I haven't had lobster in a very long time. I How think... about I make you one for Christmas? That sounds good. Yeah. I only had lobster once this year. I don't know that I had it this year. That's a sin. Well, no, uh, that's not true. I did have a bite of some. Hi, Bia. Hi, Roy. I haven't said it yet. Nice to see you. Nice to see everybody else in chat. If there is anybody else in chat, welcome. A third uh, degree burn. Not, does, not, does not matter. How could you have even guessed that? Oh, I'll get it into you. Oh, Bia likes your shirt. You almost Thanks, gave yourself Bia. a third degree burn five minutes into your shift yesterday. Oh, no. Did you That's not, not give yourself any burn or are we second or first degree here yeah oh yeah i hope it's a no burn situation but yeah isn't that enough that, isn't it enough that all the animals want to kill you <laughs> burn, burn into yourself <laughs> fair 
Alongside chowder, bisque is the most popular seafood soup. I love it. Bisque is smooth, creamy, highly seasoned soup of French origin. Oh. Classically yeah. based on a strained broth of crustaceans. It can be made from lobster, crab, shrimp, crayfish, all mm -hmm. that junk. Yeah. Alongside chowder, bisque is the best. That's right. <laughs> Who wrote that? The bisque police? <laughs> Man, I, now I really want a lobster bisque. Yeah, you'd love it. We made lobster bisque with uh, sherry and cheddar cheese. Is sherry like your cousin? Cream? No, you know the, the booze? Oh, the booze. I have a cousin sherry is why I asked. Oh, do you? What yeah, did she yeah. do? <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, she was in marketing with, uh, I believe, the Yellow Pages for quite some time, but I'm not sure what she does anymore. Hmm. Uh, I haven't asked her for a while, so... I, I bet yeah, she just has fun. Like she seems, she seems fun. Where, where are the yellow pages now? You know, that's a great question. <laughs> I, I don't know. There is a good uh, onion thing where it was a uh, creepy man has book with everybody's phone number. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's good. Also, true. you're making a coffee for. For a customer, uh, they were being difficult, wanted me to change it while I was making it, got distracted, and the hot steam went on my hand. Oh, that's not good. Got to be careful. Well, that sounds like that customer is a dick. Anything that's a yell, you don't need to yell. No. Oh, he's being difficult. He didn't necessarily yell, but. Still, no need to be difficult. Rowie's just doing his job. That's right. Leave Rowie alone. That, Damn it. Give that customer a talking to. Or a talking at. You talk well, right at him. Yeah, I would. You're right. What would you call him? <laughs> I just assume it's a him. It could be a lady. I don't know. Yeah. Demanding Von Demanderson. Mm. He, he saw he the saw burn. The burn was, was angry, angry at me. Because I wouldn't serve him. A eat in cup because we're closing in five minutes. An eat in cup. I'd have told him to eat me out and get out of the store. I'm burning. That's rude. Eat me out. <laughs> <laughs> Took you a while to catch that. <laughs> no, I got it right away. <laughs> it's oh, okay. Like, <laughs> this is a funny way to a funny way to say it. <laughs> <laughs> you sir. Can you <laughs> <laughs> right? Right? Uh, yeah, like a mug. I got. I understood that. I understood. How have you guys been? What's going on? If it was, yeah. uh, I have a, a couple of questions. One: Is there Thanksgiving where you are? Uh, and if not, is there some sort of harvest festival? I think I know the answers uh, to some of these questions, uh, and I know some of the answers, but I would like you guys to tell us and those watching what the deal is with a Thanksgiving type festival in your hometown. I'm actually, uh, Roy, drawing a lady from your country. Um... Her name is Emily dot life model life. Sorry, Emily dot life modeling. Um, she's a life figure model from Australia. And I'm just taking a boo at her pics on the uh, on the grams and uh, going from there. Just some inspo. Tell me, Shane, were you affected by the uh, Facebook uh, shutdown? Do you know what how it happened or? I do. Uh, I do know what happened. Uh, not, not the exact cause, but they had uh, DNS problems. Oh. And uh, so much so that there's a funny story that they couldn't go in and check what the outage was about or why the outage was happening 
because some, the routers that controlled their key fob access to their doors yeah couldn't find because it didn't it couldn't contact the dns server so it gotcha. couldn't find the things that it needed to open the doors so they were locked out. crazy ah good times but no yeah. i wasn't really affected no i didn't i really have know what happened yeah i have the facebook um but i don't i'm not much of a poster or yeah. uh social media personality mm -hmm. well, uh so i just yeah but i'm not a social media personality you could be i don't know if i could i don't know you kind of need a little bit of something and i think well, i'm missing yeah. a, a little bit of something so would you feel more comfortable if i was just to say you're like a tv personality it'll be more of your jam yeah, see, I like this, this sort of interaction. It's the same thing with uh, the telephone. I would much rather go into a place to make an appointment and talk to them face-to-face -face and, like, put myself out to drive there and walk in and stuff yeah. than I would to make an appointment on the phone. Mm -hmm. That's why I really like the Internet and making appointments and ordering food and things from the Internet. Okay. Because you don't have to talk to nobody. And you don't like that, I'm aware. I do, but I like this sort of interaction more. Yeah. More better. Yeah. More I feel better. more comfortable like this. Yeah. Well, and that means a lot. Because if I record something, like, I, I could never watch these back. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you mentioned that. I couldn't. Yeah. And so if I record something for social media, like some 40 second video, it would never make it past the filter that i have for it you know like i would play it back and go oh you look like a you look like a dumbass and i would delete it I'm like okay well let's try again and i'd record it and then i'd play it and i'm like oh you sound like a dumbass and then i would delete it and then i would try it again and then i'd be like oh no i was right the first time you look like a dumbass and then i would delete it so. right yeah because yeah. you know you're not one to forgive yourself for anything no and i find self-promotion very hard that's fair even though I don't think I'm dumb or anything. You're far from it. Right. I agree. But it didn't affect you. You don't post on Facebook, right? Not really. Whatever I post on Facebook tends to be just like a, an extra, like it's like, you know, when you post something on Instagram, you can say post to Facebook as well. I kind of do that, but. Yeah. Yeah. It's cross post. That's the one. Uh, let's see. What uh, what do people say about their Thanksgivings? Thanksgiving, it is so foreign to me. Uh, so there is nothing in Australia that is like sometime in October or November. Oh, I guess it would be different for you guys, right? Yeah. What's the opposite? What's the opposite of October, November? Uh, the June, July. No, April, May. April, May. There's nothing in April, May about like a harvest festival or or something of that sort and be a, we don't have thanksgiving i think in kindergartens and nursery schools they're doing some harvest fest like ish events but that is that's all aren't there also some wine festivals around now oktoberfest wouldn't that be a harvest festival wouldn't that be your thanksgiving oktoberfest <laughs> fair Am I going to play Far Cry 6? Ah, good question. Good question. So, I think the answer is yes, but. Uh, there's a but. It's a yes, but answer. Yes, but. Um, probably not for a while. And the reason is, I already have too many games. And I get stuck on games for quite a long time. Um, Far Cry series itself, I've always played late, but it's fine because nobody leaks the story or anything, and they're well playable. Like, you can still play Far Cry 1 and 2 and 3 is probably best out of those early ones, and they stand up. Like, they, the story is still good, the gameplay is still good, Some graphics are a little, but it's fine. 
but yeah, so yes, however, probably not for a year. Are you? Are you going to delay it? Oktoberfest is a fun fair with lots of beer. It, it absolutely is. It sounds like a delightful experience to me. I thought you already had it. No? You and your dad? You didn't experience it? I uh, know. We went to the Stuttgart Wine Festival, and that oh. was amazing. My bad. Take, Sorry. Take, you buy a little tiny cup of wine, and then you take your cup to the next guy, and you trade it in, and the wine is like a dollar. Oh, wow. That was That was a while ago. Far Cry 5. Yes. Played 4. I did not play 5. Now, Shane, uh, the NHL season's going to start. Do you play, yes. speaking of video games, do you play like the NHL series? I do, yeah. Um, I don't get them every year, though. Like, I played 15 for four years, and then I got 19. Yeah. And... Um, and surprisingly, I have not played 19 that much. I don't... The changes, they made it dumber. Yeah. The, like, like the controls like the and stuff. Or... Okay. Yeah, yeah the like the, the controls and they like... They made the ice smaller compared to the size of the players. And it's just like everything that they changed between 15 and 19. I was just like, I don't know. That seems like... Weird. And the thing that bothers me so much about that series, and I, I don't know if this is the same with FIFA and cricket and the other EA sports games, yeah. but I think I, I have a feeling that it is, is there's a perfectly great feature and they remove it. Yeah. Hey, little Ange. Very frustrating. Hey, little Ange. How you doing? What's, uh, Very... what's uh, little Ange's Thanksgiving plans? Yeah, little Ange, well, uh, we were talking about Thanksgiving in our uh, home places, and it turns out that there is no Thanksgiving in uh, Australia, and there's no Thanksgiving in Germany, and we uh, did some sleuthing and decided that the fun fest that is Oktoberfest, uh, we're just going to call it Thanksgiving, because we're thankful for beer, and they're yeah. thankful for beer. So yeah. And the tourism. Beer and, and sausages and... Uh, Oompa music. <laughs> Is that actually what it's called? I think so. That's fun. I like that name. You don't like watching cricket? It's so boring. It's That's one of those games like baseball. Do you like baseball, Doug? No. I mean, I've gone to it. Don't get me wrong. But I like if you asked me to watch a baseball game, I'd be like, no. I'm busy. Yeah. Baseball is one of those games. And I... I used to like baseball when we lived in Ontario and you can go see the Jays and you could take the go train to go see the Jays and like a live game is it's more the atmosphere than anything and like that's right yeah and that's fun and I like buying the hats great and happens. the drinks yeah. and the food and yeah yeah I like shopping at but the game <laughs> watch <laughs> <laughs> watching it on TV is uh, mind numbing like, I don't know how people do it. No. Baseball is that, the kind of game, and I'm sure cricket's similar, where you could put it on the radio and, like, do other things. Totally. And that would be okay. Uh, I, but. I do that with hockey sometimes. I'll just, like, have it on as noise in the background, and I can still move around and do stuff. Speaking of hockey and the upcoming NHL season, did you watch the All or Nothing series, Toronto Maple Leafs? No. How is it? It's sh shallow, but it's good. <laughs> I thought you were going to say it's shitty, but I wasn't sure. No, no, it's it's good. I liked it because I – it's funny because I – because I follow them so closely. Yeah. It was – so what it is, for those that don't know, it's a, a show on Prime that follows the Toronto Maple Leafs through last year's season. And so it's the behind the scenes stuff. It's the in the locker room. It's, uh, you know, in the quarantine hotels, uh, talking to the players and the things that they're going through and shows you behind the scenes injuries and stuff. Uh, that sort of thing. Wow. Oh, James. Whoa. Thanks, James. James and friends, welcome. Party of 16. Lovely Holy to man. have you here. Yeah. Oh, my 
my god. Oh my god. Thanks for being a friend. Uli Dusan, thank you for being a friend. Welcome. Welcome everybody. Vixen, How's... how you doing? Hey, hey. Welcome to Who that, does actually. games? It is a raid. Thank you so much. Hello, hello. We're just uh, uh we're just getting down to some things. We were talking earlier. Uh, Canadian Thanksgiving is this coming weekend, so we were just talking about Thanksgiving and how other people, uh, other cultures, and other places do or do not celebrate Thanksgiving. So, yep. you know, feel free to pipe on in. Yeah. What's your uh, Thanksgiving's plans if you have any? Uh, you're having a uh, little Angel's having a quick dinner Saturday at friends. Uh, pro, uh, pro, pro, most probably some turkey. Good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then you're going uh, home to see the dogs. In South Africa, do you guys Thanks, do Dixon. any sort of uh, harvest festival uh, sort of things? Yes. Thanks again, James. Yeah. Uh, this is. Uh, How was your stream tonight, James? Quite a nice uh, raid, yeah. How's your How's your stream? What are you working on these days? Yeah, you still working on them elephants? Oh, a big elephant and a little elephant. <laughs> See, you could totally have a radio show. <laughs> especially if I, especially if I pony up to the mic like this. Yeah, and then you say elephants over and over. It's pretty awesome. An elephant. Oh my god. Two like, elephants. I think I'm in Paris again. Ah, service. bonjour. <laughs> Would you like a croissant? Always. Always. I'd never turn down a croissant. Nope. No plans for Thanksgiving. The flame doesn't get together anymore. I still like to make myself a big dinner. You and me both, boo. You and me both. That's what I do. Yeah. I, I sometimes try and get back uh, to see my folks, but... Um, Usually by this time, they're very far away. Uh, so I make I like to eat, so I'll just make a, make a whole thing. That's you don't do Thanksgiving in Norway? Is there any sort of like uh, harvest festival or anything? Any like festival of lights? Where's that? Oh. Um, I think that feels more like a Christmas thing. Festival of lights? Yeah. It does, doesn't it? But maybe it's not. I don't know. The English also do not have a Thanksgiving, but you kind of do. Canadian Thanksgiving is your Thanksgiving, because you own us. I don't know that they do anymore. They used to. We have not denounced the Queen, right? We still all hail the Queen. Uh, I guess we do, yeah. Fair <laughs> enough. Is that all it takes? You just got to hail the Queen? Ah, that's, I mean, we, that's all she it's wants. funny, because... You know when we think about the Queen here in Canada? We think about the Queen when uh, we look at our money. That's right. Yeah. Well, even then, and I don't then really when... think about her much. No, but you're like, oh, there's the Queen. <laughs> there's the Queen. <laughs> oh, there's the Queen. There she blows. <laughs> there she blows on that money there. On that quarter, there's yeah. the Queen. Well, that, that sounds yeah. very Canadian, actually. <laughs> <laughs> The only other time I think about the Queen is when somebody says, oh, the Governor General did something today. I'm like, oh, that's the Queen's person. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> Winter Christmas lights things. That's right. Uh, no, no, no Thanksgiving in Norway. Oh, that's fair. Do you guys ever eat turkey in Norway? Christmas, maybe, right? Or is it a goose? goose? Coca Goose. You don't stop thinking about the Queen. Kiss her portrait every night before bed. <laughs> mm. See, that is exactly what I expect happens over there. Yeah, over there. Seventeenth uh, of May, big day in Norway. Is it uh, Norway's like, hey, we're we're a country celebration? Mm. Winter Christmas, never heard of it. I I, I spent a Christmas in Australia, and I got to tell you, that was a damn ass delight. Yeah. I spent the whole day drunk in a pool. I'm like, this is the best. <laughs> Not that I don't like a white Christmas, because I do like a white Christmas. Yeah. Are you dreaming of a white Christmas, Doug? 
I don't know. I've kind of been torn about uh, a non-white Christmas this year. I've been thinking about it, but uh, I don't know. I don't like know going somewhere? You might you might go somewhere? Maybe. Somewhere uh, somewhere hot. less white. Yeah. Yeah. With green waters perhaps. Green or blue? This is green or blue. Not, not brown. <laughs> the brown water vacations, not <laughs> the best vacations. That's experience talking. I mean, that's not uh, <laughs> anything else, but <laughs> You are correct. Ah, the old brown water vacations. Yeah. Well, happy ber- birthday on the seventeenth of May, Vixen. If I don't, if I don't yeah, remember, happy birthday. You know, there it is. It's a preemptive birthday celebration. Did they do fireworks and stuff? I'm looking it up. You know what? I have the power of the internet here. Someone wants to burn their own guy. What's that about? Boo does games. Oh, uh, uh, Burning Man. Are you guys talking about Burning Man? <laughs> I'd love to go to Burning Man. <laughs> I'd like to go to burn my own guy. Uh, oh, Guy Fox, remember? Fifth of November. Constitution yeah, that's what, Day. That's what I thought was Guy Fox. So thank you. I thought you were saying something, but it was the sound of your pen going. <laughs> like, I can't understand what you're talking about, Doug. Yeah, I'm pretty squash, raspy squash, right squash. now. <laughs> yeah, squash, 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 squash. Constitution Day is the National Day of Norway, and its official public holiday observed on the 17th of May each year. The day is referred to simply as uh, Satende May. Yeah, you, Did I say simply, that right? Simply. Like ten day May. Kind of sounds piratey too. I mean, you were a little Irish there, actually. Yeah, I don't have the uh, I don't have the Norwe- Norwegian accent. No, no, that is no. very clear that you do not yeah. have that in your repertoire. <laughs> no, no, I should probably learn the language, and then I'll have at least some sort of accent. Yeah. We talk about this a lot on this uh, on this show. Yeah. But there is a connection between Canada and Norway in the form of a uh, a moose off yeah you do talk about this a lot I do I just you know why because I I want I want Canada's moose to be better and it's it's not not very good it's it's horrible no the Norway moose is much better it's majestic Majestic and silver, like chrome. It's chrome. It's a chrome moose. Yeah. It's a moon moose. It's a moose that could go to the moon. Ours looks like Probably has a been. moose that that needs to go to school. Like you look derpy. We got a derpy, derpy moose. Yeah. I don't know who's uh, who's who's bigger right now. In what regard? So the fight. For those that don't know, we have a moose in uh, Moose Jaw, whose name is... Maurice. That's a way better name than I think the Moose Jaw. Yeah, I don't think it is, actually, yeah. I think it's Mac the Moose. Oh, God. eh, Pretty Canadian. Um, Mac the Moose and the uh, chrome silver moose in Norway are fighting for the world's tallest moose. And they're not fighting each other. The countries are fighting to make the other one taller. Yep. And this is what Shane so stays that's... up at night and watches. <laughs> it's like, who's going to make the moose bigger today? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sound like the boy with the, te- with the newspapers. Who's going to make the moose? <laughs> old, old 30s style announcer. Who's yeah. going to make the moose? <laughs> And uh, who's your prediction? Who's your prediction? Uh, okay, so let's have a look right now. Well, let, uh, I'm not going to predict it because I think the Norway one is bigger. That's my prediction. You just said you weren't going to predict it. I know, but I lied. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Mac the Moose is 10.36 meters. Let's look up what the Norway Norway off. 
Awesome moose. That's how I'm going to look it up. Awesome. Rowie, while Shane's doing this, can you please prepare your uh, two weeks worth of animal stories for me, please? Yeah, you're, you're, you're in arrears. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's a moose truce. What? They're just going to let it go? Norway secedes title of tallest moose back to Saskatchewan City. Wow. March 4th, 2019, Moose Jaw retook the tallest moose. Uh, after dec decades of... Uh, after decades of believing a highway attraction named Mac was the tallest in the world, Moose Jaw was toppled from the top spot when it was revealed Stor Elvdal, Elvdal, Stor Elvdal had a silvery sculpture that was higher by 30 centimeters. That's how close it was. 30 mm. centimeters. For our American friends, that's not very much. It's a foot. Isn't it? Okay. 30 centimeters is equal to a foot. Okay. I believe you. Uh, they had a moose summit in 2019 during a global pandemic. Oh, no, that's 2020. Right before the pandemic. Uh, they gave Mac a bigger set of antlers and reclaimed the title. Uh, the Norwegian community will secede. As part of the settlement, Moose Jaw will recognize the Norway's silver sculpture as a pretty awesome looking moose. Oh, gosh. So there's that. Mm. Yeah, just under one foot, 30 centimeters is just under one foot. Good. Very big. Have you seen the silver moose? Blue tongue lizard who trots its way into my room. Yeah, I was waiting chill. for that. That's cool. You should take a picture of that and put it in the Discord. And then. Also, people, feel free to share your art in the Discord, exclamation yeah. point, Discord. Art, food, I like to see food and art. <laughs> <laughs> and really, I like the art and Shane likes the food. But Shane that's, also appreciates that's how the it art. Goes. I, yeah. I appreciate it. I just don't <laughs> know anything about art. You say that, but look how much you've learned this past year, just hanging out. You know, I, I actually have learned quite a bit. We talked uh, color theory uh, one day. Yep. And uh, I don't remember any of it. But No, but you, know, you have me. You don't have to. There you go, right? Boo does Ooh. games. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for being a friend. Welcome. Which golden girl would you be, Boo? Yes. This is a question for everybody. Which yeah. golden girl would you be? Right. We've talked about this on uh, on stream before as well. Yeah. Well, let's give them some time, and then I'm going to talk about another show. Okay. Uh, before we do that, yeah, yeah. I because uh, we had a chit chat before we started. I became I came way underprepared. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. You go take care. Of I yourself. need to run. I need to run and get a couple of beer because I'm having a couple of beer tonight. Nice. Oh, you have none right now. I'm sitting here beerless. It's you have none? No. I'm good. I have none. That's true. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I'm both too. All right, you guys talk Golden Girls. I'll, I'll okay, be right what, back. I'm what you, you just go do you. You go do I'm you, Sophia. boo. Yeah. That's fine, boo boo. I shouldn't call you boo boo. That's not right. Um, what, uh, what two are you a combo of? I think everyone's a, a couple of them, right? Like no one's just strictly one of them, which is probably why the show was so damn popular. Okay. <laughs> oh, I got schmutz on my face. Nice. 
All right, good to know, boo. Rose and Blanche. Yeah, that's a great combo. I would I would say I'm the same combo. Not really. They're both kind, they just share it in different ways. See, Rose. the biggest gift would be from me, and the card attached would say, Thank you for being a friend. You We're can't sing mixes. it too well, Doug, or we'll get we'll get uh, banned. Oh, shit. I thought we had a new agreement. We could do whatever now. Hmm. I did see an email to that effect. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, good to know. Good to know. Yeah. Probably a combo of Rose and Blanche. And I, I would like agree it. that I'm the same. You're a, you're a. I'm a blows. Oh. Or, or a ranch. <laughs> I thought you were going to say hot idiot. <laughs> well, I have been called that before, so. <laughs> You know, surprisingly, me too. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> ranch. <Spro> <laughs> I like ranch. I like it. Yeah. Blows is a little descriptive. I like, ranch is funny, but it only it works so great in that context. It's like, which golden girl are you? I'm ranch. <laughs> it really does work. <laughs> You're a Dorothy Rose mix. I like that. I like, I like that, that too. too. I yeah. like the mixes. Ah, the mixes make a ton of sense because they are caricature, caricature, caric, caricatures. Say the word. There's yeah. the word that I'm looking for of uh, people. So they are exaggerated traits, right? They all they yeah. all have exaggerated traits. So if you mix them, you can you can get to you. No, it makes perfect sense. What did I miss in, in chat here? Oh, you will catch up. Oh, uh, Golden Girls is on Disney Plus? Yeah. It is. Oh, yes. Post your animals, your pets. I also oh, yeah. want to see that. Oh, yeah, my God. I have a new obsession. I have a new obsession that I cannot stop. I cannot stop. There's these dogs, and they have <laughs> buttons, and yeah. the buttons have words. And these dogs can talk. Like Doug? From yeah, up? But like they have but they have buttons on the ground and then they go up and they just touch the button they want to. Oh, wanna yeah, yeah, do. yeah. So it's like outside, mommy, please. And then you go, yes. Dog outside. And then they go so now they're talking. so there's all wow. these like um, TikToks and Instagram videos of these dogs talking and stuff, and it's amazing. It's amazing. And I can't stop watching it. Oh, I'll have to look it up. So, do you want to see Emily? Yes, please. Here she is. Here she, she is. Boom. Oh, that's cool. I like the purple that you've chosen. Oh, thank you. I've Some also... uh, satanic ritual of sorts? Yeah, it's something new uh, show she's a uh, series of photos she's got on Instagram, so I thought they were kind of interesting with Halloween and all coming up. Is that blood? It's whatever. It's actually watercolor paint, but um, you can have it be whatever you need it to. <laughs> oh, I was just wondering if like her head was bleeding in the in the image that you used it. No, that it wasn't like... the intent, but uh, it's a great effect that just kind of materialized. Feels 
on brand. Thought about doing this with with Lilu. And I'm not sure you want you want to know what, what she's thinking. Ah, uh, I think so. It'd be like love, mommy, love, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> There was one that was really special because uh, the dog pressed oh. the, bu the buttons water and outside. And the person was like, water outside? What are you talking about? So she opened the door to let the dog out, and it was raining. Stands the dog the was just telling, telling her it was raining. That's really sweet. Oh, hail Stan, not Sale. Hail Stan. Yeah, but Stan's the cat. I don't know where Stanley is, though. I can go get him somewhere. Who said, who said Stan wasn't the cat? I don't know. Uh, Bia. Oh, no, but she, Bia's just trying to get James to to hail the correct person. Oh. And I am the correct person to hail if you are to hail somebody. Oh, no. Stan Lee. Oh, yeah. Maybe I should get away from that. Ooh, too tight. Eh, maybe we'll go tight. Got to be an all, uh, adult and call up some place today because I haven't heard anything about my air, air fryer. And it's been over a week. Oh, that yeah. took a turn that I was not expecting. The uh, you know you have to call somebody about your air fryer. I was really not <laughs> expecting that to be the the a very adult thing that you had to take care of. I, I will say though, I have an air fryer, and uh, I thought I would not like it, and I thought I would not use it. And I use it all the time. You know what? I have one, and I don't like it, and I don't use it. Oh. Well, which one did, do you have? Maybe that's the problem. I don't know. It's away now. Well, fair. That's fair. Oh, what kind did you get, Rowie? Adulting sucks. Adulting absolutely sucks. Yeah. Eh, and I figured out why. I figured out why. You got to do all this crap you don't want to do. That's exactly why. That's the only reason it sucks. Because otherwise, it also affords you the ability to do things that, like, whatever you want. Like, if I want to have ice cream for breakfast, I can have ice cream for breakfast. What flavor did you have this morning? Uh, mint chip this morning and nice. pralines and cream yesterday. Wow, you really went all out. Now, are you like a yeah, sit down it, and eat two liters kind of guy? Uh, I can be absolutely. Uh, I try. I've been trying to uh, curb my uh, binging, yep, as much as possible lately. So I've been instead of like bringing a bag of chips to wherever I'm gonna have chips, I have a little bowl and I eat the little bowl. And if I want to have another bowl, I go fill up another bowl, but I only put it in the bowl. So that's better. And same with ice cream. If I sit down with a two liter tub, I will eat a two liter tub. Yeah. So. I put two scoops in the thing, and honestly, the best solution for me is to not buy those things at the store. That's, yeah, fair. What about you? Are you a... Oh, yeah. Uh, if I'm having ice cream, whatever tub it comes in is where it ends. So, I don't buy <laughs> it. No. No. <laughs> See, not much. I'm a, yeah similar well and what's interesting is like the smaller the pint that you're the smaller the container of ice cream that you get like you're trying to make a responsible choice oh i'd like ice cream but maybe i'll just get one of these small ones the more expensive it is it's true yep you can get 10 liters for six bucks or you can get uh 300 milliliters for six bucks yeah <laughs> okay doesn't make all the shane's sense does it <laughs> shane's pancreas is crying <laughs> that's true it probably is I think if I could take if you could take one thing out of adult life Doug and everything else would be the same what would it be oh societal expectations ooh that's a good one of, of anything yeah of adulting you know, well definitely that uh, I would take work away well, I think people would enjoy work or they would have jobs they actually loved if right. the societal uh, pressures weren't there. Yeah, you bring up another good point there. Yours is definitely more far-reaching than my uh, shallow attempt to not work. 
<laughs> well, hey, you could still buy a lotto ticket. Do you have a lotto ticket? I do not. Well, maybe today. Do you have a lotto ticket? Not right at this moment, but I'll get one before the draw. Um, did you do the uh, QE2 home lottery? You no, know, I didn't this year, or at least not yet. Um, how about yourself? Is that because you had? Is because you won something and you feel like you've done it? <laughs> I did win something last year, but no, I don't feel I'm ever done. Um, no, I just uh, with things like that, I kind of like to trust my gut. And my gut's been kind of saying, don't buy it, don't buy it so far. So until that changes, I probably won't. Okay, that's fair. I did this year. Um, for those that are wouldn't. unaware, there's a, a hospital and they do a lottery uh, every year for a house. Uh, in, in this case, two houses. It's for a good cause. And there's, uh, there's lots of great prizes. And Doug, last year, won a camera. Actually. Actually, he won a camera. <laughs> and you know what? We're not using it right no, now. because it sucked. It was one of those <laughs> prizes that they're just like, and a camera! And you're like, <laughs> oh my god. They just, it's just like a... <laughs> like I don't have one on my phone already. Um, but yeah, it, no, it just, it didn't... Um, it wouldn't format the drives to work with this machine that we're on, so I couldn't use it as another camera, like uh, I had hoped. 1996 Sony SureShot. Yep, that's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> Sunbeam copper-infused Dura ceramic. Wow, that thing it sounds fancy as all get out. It sounds deluxe. I love it. Deluxe. Yeah, it looks pretty deluxe. Well, you know, you can make some pretty interesting things in an air fryer. Didn't donuts. Didn't we talk you about this donuts. before? That we're, like, don't you know that it's the same as a convection oven? Yes, it is, but oven. it's it's smaller. Well, it's, yeah, but your stove's already there. You're already there. I am. I'm already there. <laughs> Can I bring out the trash? Otherwise, I'm not interested in having one. <laughs> I don't know if staff come with it, but maybe. There's definitely going to be robots that can take out the trash soon. Did you yeah. see that there's robots in the works for commercial sale to do menial, ta wow. menial tasks like that and like washing the windows? and uh, so There's already sounds, a ro robot vacuum. It sounds a lot like uh, Wally. Wally. Uh, what's the Jetsons made called? Did you ever watch that? I want to say Betty. Like our... Is it Betty? Just like Betty Bot? Oh my god, is it? I think, I think it right. is. I think it is. Uh, do you remember the boss's name? No. Mr. Spacely. <laughs> <laughs> Spacely. Let's list of uh, Rosie. Oh, so oh, close. Rosie yeah. the robot. That's right. Yeah, because they'd yell for Rosie. She was spoofed, spoofed in Futurama. Oh, cool. Do you know that Futurama had, like, they are, they're all masters or PhDs, and a couple of them from Harvard? They're, like, the most overeducated <laughs> cartoon people ever. Oh, that's awesome. No, I didn't know that at all. Was Matt Groening not part of that directly? Like, he just kind of started... Started it, and that was it. So, yeah, I think that animation style and like the idea was his, and then of course they have a writers' room, and a bunch of writers, and those people were the ones with the things. Yeah. And there's a couple math 
there's like a lot of like little math jokes in in there that are like you kind of got to know math to get the joke yep did you get them all no no i had to go back through and look look them up there's many sites on the internet that i'll run through that oh cool okay let me ask you a question doug Today is Simon Cowell's birthday. Mm. Would you ever consider going on Canada's voice singer? No. No. What if I gave you $13.26? That wouldn't even buy me a coffee. coffee are you getting <laughs> i'm getting one for you too <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> all right fine here's 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 a 20 keep the change <laughs> yeah no i don't think i would <laughs> no <laughs> uh oh idol that's what it was canadian idol i i don't think i i would be able to do that well you can sing there is a difference you have skill set oh oh Oh, I cannot. You can. <laughs> I've I seen you. Definitely cannot. I've seen you on stage, just wailing out some Bonnie Raitt. You do a great job. Yeah, thank you. Um, I I will sing some punk rock O's and oohs, and I will yell, uh, and that's about it. That's singing. and I'll sing here for you guys. Yeah. But charge. I don't think I could do it on one of one of those shows. No. No interest for me. If you had to go, if like you were forced to go mm -hmm. on to uh, Canada's Got Talent. Oh, well, never mind. I know the answer. Is the answer no? No, the answer is you would you would art. I would art. Yeah, that's right. That's no, your the, no. They, there, I would sing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, if you do both, oh my that's gosh. like a du double threat. That's what they call that. A yeah. double threat. Oh, okay. And then the, the triple threat people look down on you because yeah. you're only a double threat. But what if I could tap my toes at the same time? Would that make me a triple? Threat? Oh, triple threat! Triple threat! Upscaling. You got to get tap shoes though. You got to put tap shoes on. Tappy tappy tappy. I love tappa tappa tappa. Tappa tappa tappa. Tappa tappa tappa. <laughs> yeah, is that what do you think of that guy, Simon Cowell? What about you, uh, English folk? Do you do you find uh, that he is representative of your people? <laughs> <laughs> I like how you can't even laugh. Stop. You have to laugh before you spit it out. <laughs> He could be beloved. You don't know. He could be. Absolutely. Also, does anybody watch those shows? I don't really watch. My parents watch American Idol. Yeah. And my dad likes to send me clips of the people that do well. He's like, look at, look at this person. She's, look at the voice on her. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can't see it, but thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, I don't have synesthesia, but, you know, <laughs> what are you going to do? You're going to see or sing. Yeah, not a lot of uh, celebrity birthdays today. Vladimir Putin and John Mellencamp. Oh. Of those John two. John Cougar, if you will. Yeah, of, of those two, who do you prefer to have lunch with? Oh, Putin, for sure. Yeah. What would you talk about? Well, hopefully him. Yeah. But what yeah. If he was just, like, I think really he's probably got some... <laughs> no? No. No. No, tell me about you. Where did you grow up? <laughs> <laughs> well, Vladimir. <laughs> what are my interests? 
Do I oh. want to go for a walk on the beach? Yes, Vladimir, I do. Right. Oh, call you Vlad? Sure thing, okay. Vlad. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he's into hockey, eh? Yes, he is. Did you use, there's this, there's this uh, video of him playing in this, like, uh, celebrities tournament with some KHL players. Yeah. And the it's like a news recap, and the news recap is, and Prime Minister, being the amazing hockey player he is, scores his ninth goal, and you, like, watch, and he can barely skate. Oh, so like they're, they're just, clearly yeah, no. like letting him score. Yeah, <laughs> pretty funny. Well, they might be in trouble if they don't. Yeah, kilt even, kilt, what? kilt dead. Well, I don't know about that. Yeah, we don't know about that. No. We didn't accuse him of that. That's nope. fine. Vlad and, and I are we super sure tight. We had lunch didn't... together once. Oh my god! And he asked about you. I tried to hear about his early days as a secret not secret uh, special forces guy mm -hmm. but no he deferred he said i don't want to talk about that shane i want to talk about you yeah your your deepest fears your heart and soul what makes you tick thanks Aurora Aurora Lee, thank you for being a friend hey hey webbo ah you see i see too i see you seeing me seeing you Damn, where'd you pull that out of? I just, I don't know. I just made that up. It's like I'm uh, Dr. Seuss's well, it uh, wife, wife's uh, brother's sister. Uh, I was going to say. Uh, boyfriend. Wife's boyfriend. Yeah, that's what I thought you were going to say. Anyway, it's uh, <laughs> our friend Vlad's birthday today. Vlad Putin. Yeah. He was born in Leningrad. Mm-hmm. He's uh, 52, so he's uh, ooh, 69. He's 69 today. What a great year. There's Emily again. Looking good, Doug. Looking good. Well, I'll pass my, uh, your regards off to her later. All right, Shane. What are you feeling? So we we're, were talking about this, I don't know when, I think uh, some other stream or maybe even right before this one. But there is this concept uh, when you get writer's block or mm -hmm. um, like you are trying to write a song or something and you can't. Uh, in order to spark creativity, you actually put more restrictions on yourself. So you have to work within some bounds. Uh, and I think if we give you, if we chat, can come up yeah. with maybe a couple of things okay. to restrict you. So be that ropes or I right. mean, uh, specific colors, perhaps, or even a specific uh, something, style even. Okay, okay. Uh, and like, so... It's almost like as if it would be a dare to flare. Sounds a lot like that. Nice. Right? Yeah. It's a dare to flare. This is where we dare Doug to do something on the canvases or paper or... Not his, tonight, not his own body. Though. Tonight is this. Tonight is that. So, what restrictions can we give Doug? What things can we box him in? Let's put <laughs> baby in a corner. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anybody have any ideas? Any ideas? Pumpkin? Oh, I like that. Butts, but only made out of pumpkins. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll make it. There, we're going to go with it. It sure. covers both. Yeah. Pumpkin butts, butts of pumpkins. Dare to flare. Time limit. No time limit. No time limit. 20 tonight. minutes. 
Is 20 minutes? Oh, I, I want to do a little research first, please. 14 minutes. 12 minutes. You're down to five seconds, Doug. All right. Thank you. Dirty Flayed over. Down. <laughs> burning candles. There was burning candles in that Pentagon one. It's very um, Halloween-y in here today. What day does Halloween fall on this year? Don't say October 30th. <laughs> okay. This is not right. It's the 31st. Uh, it is on a Sunday. 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 Oh, does that mean they'll actually have it on the Sunday or they'll have it on a Saturday? Uh, no, it'll be on the Sunday. Trick or treaters. Do you yeah. get trick or treaters where you are? Yeah. You? Uh, yeah, but not very many. Mostly because I have the lights off. <laughs> one of the neighbors said I should expect 300 this year. What? Yeah. How many did you get last year? 300? No, but over 100 probably. Wow, really? Yeah. It's a busy night. Yeah. Is trick or treating actually a big thing over there? Absolutely. Yeah. I saw a good a good social media post. I'm not going to take credit for this, but it was the thing about that sucks about Halloween in Canada is you can never be Spider-Man. You're always Spider-Man with a winter coat. Yeah, it's true. But not this year. Seems pretty Is it gonna warm. Be warm? It's, it's pretty warm right now. Yeah, it's crazy. It's a bit odd. For October, which is good because I still have warm weather things to do. Yeah. Halloween isn't much of a thing there either. Huh. That's a lot of candy you have to buy? Yeah, but they're little candies. Unless you're the house that gives out full chocolate bars. Which I was the first couple of years. Um, but not so much anymore. It's a, it gets expensive quickly if you have over a hundred kids. Yeah. Canada has very specific candy as well. Hmm? That's right. Thanks to climate change, Canadian people can now be Spider-Man without winter <laughs> coats. <laughs> But people dress up everywhere, right? Like all you guys have uh, the concept of Halloween. Only a few decorated. Halloween is like that time that you can dress up as a slutty cat and go to the bar. Mm -hmm. And then people go, oh, it's with the man, six foot five man, the slutty yeah. cut cat outfit. Yeah. And I say, Dish. Yeah, that's what you gotta fight for your right. <laughs> Every weekend? I'm sure it is. Are you getting are you getting dressed up for Halloween? You asking me? Yeah. Uh no, I don't think I am. You? I don't know. I don't know. One year we went as the Backstreet Boys. Okay, so this is a great party. Uh, it, me and a bunch of my friends dressed up as the Backstreet Boys. Uh, a bunch of the girls were Cindy Lauper, uh, Madonna, Tiffany. Well, that one would be hard to tell, though. Uh, wow, not really. You can really, it was very 80s y. Oh. And then we we played uh, a bunch of 80s covers. Like, we learned a bunch of backstreet songs, uh, Bangles, Walk Like an Egyptian, 
like summer 69 like all those tunes we learned all those tunes all of us because we were all played something and then we just hung out in my basement and played those songs all night and got drunk <laughs> it was awesome oh, that's cool yeah it was so much fun so much fun maybe you should bring it back yeah we should do it again but like some other era Backstreet's back. All right. Yeah, that's not really 80s. That's a little later than that. Earlier, right? Nope. Later. No, you're right. Late 80s. Let me look at it. 90s. What? Yeah. Backstreet Boys. 1993. Yeah. Oh, what am I thinking of? I don't know. What was the other one? New Kids on the Block? That's the one. That I was still think there were 90s, I think. That's who we dressed up as, too. New Kids on the Block. Because we did Hangin' Tough. Oh, yeah. yeah. And that's New Kids, right? Uh, yeah. You know it. Yeah. Hangin' Tough. 1988. People thought they were singing about toilet paper. Step by step. Ooh, baby. I'm going to get to your girl. Step one. We'll have lots of fun. Step two. Something, something, something. Step three. <laughs> You're really good tonight. I, I'm trying, I don't want to stop you. I'm just laughing. <laughs> but you were like, you were really in there. Like, I was like, this is your jam. Like. You're living your best life right there in that moment. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that was it. I peaked right there. It's all downhill <laughs> from here, Doc. <laughs> okay. I'll get a wheelbarrow. <laughs> How did everyone enjoy oh. that? Oh, everyone had a blast. It was so oh, much fun. Gosh. Just to, We just learned a bunch of songs and stuff, right? No, no, I meant on chat. Who enjoyed your song? Oh, them. Yeah, yes. probably not. Not Damn. so much. Oh, you never know. I'll tell you what, our viewer count is not going up. <laughs> <laughs> I think a few of the Backstreet Boys just subscribe. New Kids on the Block to welcome Salt and Pepper, on Vogue, and Rick Astley on Massive Mixtape Show. This article came out October 4th. Huh. They're, they're on tour. New Kids on the Block are on tour. What else? With Salt do? and Pepper, on Vogue, and Rick Ashley. Ashley. On Vogue. Wow. What was their song? Never Gonna Get It. Oh, I like that song. <laughs> like how excited you got there. <laughs> <laughs> Is that it, though? That's the only one. Oh, they probably have some more. It's just the one that comes to mind right away. Free your mind. Oh, that's and the rest one. will follow. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Be colorblind. Don't be so something, shallow. Something. Don't be so shallow. That's exactly right, Doug. Yeah. Let's see what you've won. Okay, I see on Vogue here. Mm -hmm. I like Rick Astley. I think he's funny, and he can poke fun at himself, which is nice. Well, one would have to, I think. I think so too. I think you have to get get over that, or you'd spiral pretty quick. Yeah. Well, it's interesting that all these bands are going on tour. Uh almost 40 years later yeah like aren't there enough n good new bands guess not all right shane i think i've finished your challenge <laughs> i like <laughs> <laughs> how I'm, I'm so concerned for this little boy He's got a hole in the middle. <laughs> it's a pumpkin. Yeah, wanted, it's a you pumpkin. Wanted, you wanted a pumpkin bum. <laughs> he, 
It's a pumpkin. He's a pumpkin. You're a pumpkin, too. <laughs> nice. Well, thanks, everyone. Uh, that was helpful. Good work. So what's next? You said you I wanted to talk about a show, and we did not get there. I know. You got talking. Um, I actually left. <laughs> it's true. Uh, there's two shows. Um, I get into Who recently. And um, one is Midnight Mass. And okay. I don't, I don't know this one. Okay. And the other one is The Squid Game. Are you, are oh, you yeah. I watched that. Game? It, you, I know. I I finished. I, it. I watched it. Watched it so fast. So oh, fast. okay. Okay. Yeah, I watched it uh, over two days while I was uh, working. So was <laughs> and, nice. Yeah. yeah watching that TV. Makes sense. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. Um, yeah, I have one episode left, so I'll, um, yeah, curious to see how it plays out. Great game is like a dystopian sort of. Um, have you ever seen Battle Royale? The uh, Japanese is a it? Japanese movie. Yeah. yeah, it's sort of along that line. Battle Royale or like Hunger Games would be a but Hunger Games uh, in Big Brother. Yeah, that sort of thing. Yeah, it's well done, and it, the just sort of the way that they write the characters is great. Yeah. Well, apparently the they had the story and were shopping around for the past ten years, and no one would take it. And then, um, what? I guess some of Netflix's um, algorithms were saying that people they were pumping out a lot of like North American style content, and mm-hmm. people weren't paying attention outside of uh, certain markets. They wanted uh, hometown kind of uh, familiar content. So uh, Netflix gave it a shot and produce it, and here it is. And, you know, the idea's been kicked around for a while, apparently. Um, there's a lot of... So that's sort of like uh, genre? James, of, I've been like, doing it with the um, subtitles. Sorry, Shane. Uh, I've heard that you miss a lot from the translation as well. Yes, I did the I did the uh, dubbed, and I usually hate dubbed. If I can, if it's not well done, the dub, I it throws me off so much that it's I I have to do the subtitles. Mm-hmm. But the dubbing on this was really good. I don't know about the translation because I heard that as well, James. That there's some like key. Oh. Um, like feeling that you're missing because of the translation uh i think still it was good um but this sort of like dystopian uh very violent um type thing is done well uh there's a bunch of korean movies that have come out that are like that like old boy back in the yeah that was really good so that sort of like mind uh, right, just like that. Um, what was the other one? Uh, did you see the Academy Award one, Parasite? Did you see that? Yeah, exactly. I haven't seen it. It's good. You'd like it. I I can can imagine I would. There was a movie. A Korean movie that was very Squid Game esque in the fact that it was a television show, kind of like you know Ru- Running Man. Yep. Sort of in that same vein, right? Where it was like a life or death show. Oh, okay. Parasite was good. I mean, I heard it's amazing. I just I don't know why I haven't gotten around to watching it. Yeah, it's one of those things. Twenty eighteen like, was it? It's not on. It, it's on my list, but when I go and think like, oh, what movies? And I need a movie. It never pops into my head for some reason. Yeah. Twenty eighteen? I don't know. I'll look it up. Twenty nineteen. Okay. 
Bong Joon Ho. What's his filmography? Barking dogs never bite. Snowpiercer. Interesting. Oh, did you they uh, did a, the movie or the show? Uh, I've watched the show. I haven't watched this uh, movie. They did it. They did a Korean. The same guy that did Parasite did a Snowpiercer. Oh, interesting. With Tilda Swanson. Oh no, it must be. I thought it was. Do you like Tilda? Chris Evans was in it. Um, yeah. uh, do I like Tilda? Yes. Yes, I like her. Okay. Not in not in everything. I think that's why I was hesitant. Did you like her in the Marvel movies as the ancient one? Yeah, I thought she was pretty good. Oh my god. This is fantastic. Th these words are fantastic. Looks like I missed an ass here while I emptied the dog's ass. Where is that? I hope you yeah, Bia said it. I I, I, don't, I don't know if you want to go reaching in there, but... <laughs> Oh, the subtitles is what's got you hesitant. Uh, the the dub is very good. They did a really good job with the dub. Uh, what was the other one that I tried to watch with dubbing? Oh, um, there's a bunch of good television shows from other places that Lupin is apparently really good, and it's a French um, heist type yeah. television show. Mm -hmm. And the dubbing was so bad. It was oh, so bad. Okay. I, I got halfway through the first episode and I'm like, I can't, I can't do this. I'll have to do the subtitles because I can't. Hmm. Uh, did you watch the Snowpiercer television show? Yeah. Uh, it's good. Yeah, it's good. A little bit. Yeah. Well, uh, Andy McDowell, right? Is that who was in it? Uh, it's that David Diggs guy, right? No, the female lead. Yes. I always liked her. Gosh. She was in The Beautiful Mind, I think, with... Uh, the Australian Russell Crow, guy. Russell Crowe, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, it's uh, Jennifer Connelly. Oh, is that who it was? Oh, my mistake. Uh, hold on, I'm looking it up. No, that you're absolutely right. It is her. But I thought you were talking about one of the other ones, one of the other ladies. Which would that be? Who am I thinking that you were thinking? Lena Hall, maybe? I like, I like Lena. She's from Game of Thrones. Oh, who was she in Game of Thrones? Oh, I'm thinking Lena Headey. Sorry. She was uh, Cersei. Yeah, Jennifer Connelly and David Diggs. Uh, th th I think they did a pretty good job. It doesn't look like critics liked it too much, though. But that's their job. They're not like things, right? Yes, for the most part. Absolutely. So what was the show? Oh, what was the other one that you said that I had not even heard of? Oh, Midnight Mass. Midnight Mass. Yeah, how was that? What's it about? Oh, I... Hmm... <clears throat> I just don't know how to describe it without giving too much away. Okay, maybe I'll watch it. Maybe you should read the description if you can find it online real quick. And sure. The arrival could... of a charismatic. Yeah. Ready? Oh. 
I'm so ready. The arrival of a charismatic priest brings miracles, mysteries, and renewed religious fever, fervor to a dying town. Yep. Sounds Kate, right. Kate, Kate Siegel, Zach Guilford, Hamish Linklater, Samantha Sloyan. Mm-hmm. So uh, 7.8 yeah. on IMDb. 91 okay. on Rotten Tomatoes. Pretty good. There you go. So did you watch the, like, I don't know the names of the shows perfectly, but like on Haunting Hill or something like that, or or The Haunting, and then like the second one was like a name of a house on the hill? Mm. I'm not a horror guy. No, me either, but it's the same director, and he brought like some actors from those shows along with him. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. So the acting was phenomenal. Um, the writing was incredible. Um, and the story is is interesting. Um, yeah. But there is a lot of dialogue, if that's not your jam. Uh, I'm okay with that if the writing is good. Uh, That's it is. really bad if the writing is bad. Yeah, no, it, the writing in this is, is good. So I think you would enjoy it, but it's... Uh, yeah, I think is you it, would enjoy is it. it. Is it scary? No, not really. It's more suspenseful or more like story-driven. Mm. So it's more like... Okay. Um, it's just like a little dramatic murder she wrote. Oh. I do like Murder, She Wrote. Angela I knew, Lansbury. I knew how to get to your heartstrings there. That's right. You can make me watch anything. You just got to pick the right thing. Oh, it's a lot like this, but <laughs> scarier and better and more modern. And it looks better. And the cinematography yeah. is <laughs> amazing. Um, I see Bia liked it. Haunting at Hill House. Oh. Thank you. Haunting at Hill House. Okay. You're going to watch Squid Game in English, uh, and it was so bad. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's a little bit cringy, but you kind of you can get used to it. You just said it was amazing. The dubbing itself, well, the dubbing itself is good. Like, the, you know, the thing that would throw me off is the mouth movement. Oh, The mouth yeah, yeah. movement and the sounds don't match up at all, and you're just like, oh, my God, it's brutal. But for some reason, it was fine. Like, once I got a couple episodes in, and maybe it just need the story needs to be compelling enough to keep my focus Mm -hmm. so that i don't worry about that stuff right but same thing i was i was working too so i wasn't watching as much as i would normally i like to do things and watch tv at the same time yeah minute mass what was the other one i know you told me and i know we talked about it i just squid game right we're still talking about it i was just talking about it yeah literally at the same time correct Oh, I know why. I know why I asked that question. It's because I wanted to bring up Only Murders in the Building. Oh, I love that show. Man, that show is great. I Isn't love it? Steve Martin, and, and it's so good. And you yeah. know what? I'm not a fan of Selena Gomez. I was never a fan of Selena Gomez, ever. Mm -hmm. And I don't mind her in this. There you go. I still don't know what's going on with her voice, though. That's a little weird, right? Yeah. And maybe she's just in character. I don't know. And if she is, then that's kind of cool. You wish you could stretch like her? Oh, so do I. Can you imagine bringing your leg up behind you like that? No. Yeah, me neither. I can't imagine. <laughs> <laughs> you can once. <laughs> yeah. <that's> yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> One time, one time only move. I used to be quite flexible. I used to be able to do the splits, Doug. The splits, well, you, I tell you. You, you were a goalie. You would have That's had right. to be able to. Yeah, flexibility is a big thing with that. Uh, yeah. So are you excited for, for the new hockey season? Uh, yeah, I am. I'm looking forward to it. I always have my hockey pool, so... Uh, getting that list ready for a couple weeks from now and then uh yeah i look forward to that part of it 
Nice. I'm excited for this year. Um, I've been really liking watching the games the last couple of years. Gotten way back into it and tried to watch more and more of the games. But I like thing. I like it because it'll be like, well, I'm watching the hockey game, so I can't can't really go anywhere, which is not true. You can. It's fine. <laughs> But it also gives me an opportunity to like do writing and stuff because I can listen to the game and have it on the other monitor, do some writing, you know, and then they score, they play the replay. Yeah. Leafs will let me down again. Yes. Watching that uh, documentary series, All or Nothing, Toronto Maple Leafs, uh, was great. It was nice to see behind the scenes, but man, it was hard, hard to relive the end of that yeah. again. You can do everything in life once, as long as it doesn't kill you. <laughs> I love the thinky face. True. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm Not if it kills you halfway through, Bia. Not if it kills you halfway through. Yeah, it's a similar uh, season. Yeah, hockey runs October to June. used to run October to June. And then the last, like, three seasons have been all fucked up. Yeah. I think this one's going to be mostly normal. What's the plan like here? last year, they changed like who played who, and Canadian teams only played Canadian teams last year mm -hmm. uh, because of COVID and stuff. So, and this year they've already been playing all over. So I think we're back to the old divisions, and um, yeah, first. Uh, opening game for my team is next Wednesday. I'm excited. Next Wednesday. When's the season start? Next Wednesday? Next Wednesday. So they're opening night. That's well, cool. I think I, it might start on Tuesday, but yeah. Leafs and Montreal are playing on Wednesday. And that's yeah. usually the that's the opener for the Leafs anyway. Although usually. there has been preseason games. Have you watched any of the preseason? No. No, I've been reading up That's on it, but not watching it now. Yeah, a lot of rookies, a lot of. A lot have of to be. There's no, uh, there's no cap cuts. space. Yeah. A dead win, as they call it. Uh -huh. I have to teach you hockey rules. We should watch a hockey game. It's too bad you can't do um, watch parties with sports. Because that would be fun. Really? You think? You thinking? Right. I'm just like, does Amazon? It's Amazon that's connected, right, with Twitch. Yeah. They don't carry any sports at all. Uh, I don't on think Prime? they carry hockey. Oh, I wonder okay. if you could watch. You could probably watch the All or Nothing series though. That's on Prime. No, oh, there you go. Oh, you could know. do it unofficially over Discord. Fair. Yeah. That could be a different type of watch party. Uh, speaking of watch party, uh, when's the boys coming out? Soon, right? It should be soon, yeah. I'm not sure, though. Boys release date. Let me look it up. Because I think we're going to do watch parties for that. Either here or on my channel. We'll figure out what works out best. February 20. No, that's. Oh, it's a ways away then. Uh, I think that's when filming started, actually. I'm just trying to. Lands in late 2021. So that's now. Late 2021. Yeah. So nobody knows. Is the NFL a similar runtime to the rest? 
Like no. season wise or game wise? Um, they're playing now, I guess. They're in their season now, right? NFL? I think yeah. so, yeah. The season is being played over 18 week schedule beginning on September 9th. Each of the league's 32 teams play 17 games. I thought they played 16. 17 games with one bye week for each team. Mm -hmm. The regular season will conclude on January 9th. All games during the final weekend will be interdivision games. There you go. Cool. Can you please draw a horse? Sure. Where was that? <laughs> Where do you see that? Elidusen. Oh, and I got to figure out how to say your name. You got to help me say your name. Elidusen? Elidusen? Elidusen. A horse, of course. A horse, of course. Absolutely. Ellie. We'll call you Ellie. Great. Thanks, James. That works. Hooking friends up. Friends hooking friends up. Absolutely, Ellie. That's what we'll call you. Just so happy to have you here. What kind of horse are you going to draw, Doug? A uh, black one. Oh, a black one. <laughs> like the Black Stallion. That's... Did you ever read that book as a tiny child? No. No, I didn't. You? Uh, yes. I read it when I was a tiny child. <laughs> <laughs> and? It was also a really bad Canadian television show. Did Disney not make a movie out of it? They did, but there was also a really bad Canadian television show. Oh, okay. A big old Shire horse called Loki. Really? What's a Shire horse? Is that That's the one the, with the nice shins? They got the big you know? fancy boots. Oh, I know. They're beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is that right? Is yeah. that right? Am I right? I am right. Draft horse. Black bay or gray? What's bay? Oh my god. That's a color? Your your bay. Thanks, buddy. Uh that's a that's a good question though. It is a tall breed. I like them already. Um Bay is a color, right? But what kind of color? Oh, I'm going to click it. <clears throat> Bay is a hair coat color of horses characterized by a reddish brown or brown body color with black point coloration of the main tail, ears, ear edges, and lower legs. Oh, okay. Black and white. Yeah, I think bay is like when you think of a horse, like your mm -hmm. stereotypical horse. Yeah. That reddish brown horse with the black mane and stuff. That's what that is. Gotcha. A very dark bay horse might appear to be almost black. Oh, that's cool. And some of them have that white mark on their middle middle forehead. You oh, know, yeah. as opposed yeah. to their side foreheads. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> they were common in the Middle Ages when they were needed to carry heavy equipment, uh, metal-clad blokes. Oh, yeah. Because they're, they're big, right? They're tall and strong. Well, I'm I'm envisioning something like a Clydesdale. Am I right or no? Yes, I think okay. so. A draft horse. Mm -hmm. Mm 
Is a Clydesdale? Yeah. Is a Clydesdale a draft horse? Yeah. Yes. Scottish breed. And the Shire is the British breed of draft horse. Oh, okay. 173 centimeters. What am I? I think I'm 178. Sizable. Oh my goodness. I might be 18 hands. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, yeah, maybe so. Oh, uh, 173 is five foot six. So, yeah, I'm a lot more than that. I'm 198. That's what I am. Yeah, I'm 198. Mm -hmm. 198 in, uh, centimeters in hands. I am almost 20 hands tall. I'm 19 and a half hands tall. Hands, Doug. Hands. There we go. Just making sure. A thousand kilograms. Wow. That's how tall your horse is? 189? How many hands is that? Eighteen. Eighteen hands. Eighteen point six hands. I am nineteen point four eight hands. Nineteen and a half hands. Uh how many hands tall do you think you are, Doug? Um near how many? I am nineteen and a half. I'd be 17 and a half. I'm going to look it up. 177.8 centimeters. You 1.94 yards? <laughs> I don't know. 5'8". You're taller nope. than 5'8", right? Yeah, I'm 5'10". 5'10". You are... Five ten, five foot, five foot, ten inches. Is one hundred and seventy seven centimeters and You have 17.2 hands. Yeah, okay. Wasn't too far off. Yes, 17 hands. 6'2-ish. What are you in centimeters, Roey? Because I know that that's probably more how you do it. Six. <laughs> I like Plus this new two. game. I mean, who needs celebrity net worth? We could have... How many hands are you? <laughs> How many hands do you have in <laughs> height? <laughs> well, it sounds like a good date night. If you're like, look, look, I know we just met, but I need at least 18, 19 and a half hands on me if this is going anywhere. Or somebody's like, <laughs> so how tall are you? And I'm like, I'm 20 hands. You are very handsy, aren't you? <laughs> Maybe. Why is hands? I don't understand why it's a uh, a thing. You're eighteen point six hands, Rowie. Eighteen point six hands. Yep. He's a tall boy. Yeah, six two. Does somebody call me a giant, <laughs> or your your horse is a giant. Uh, I see. It's, it's, it's a giant handsy horse. Also something you've been called. (laughs) 
handsy and a horse? Yes. Handsome and a horse. That horse you're drawing's legs are very short. Yeah. Oh, that's his chest. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Don't they measure you at the doctor, Rowie? The last time I went to the doctor, the doctor's like, okay, we're going to weigh you now. I'm like, don't. And he's, like, <laughs> he's like, okay, well, I'll get your height. I'm like, okay, that's, that's, that's fine. That's a I'm measurement willing. I'm willing to take. Yeah. Critical. Your mouse? Trouble. I got a wireless mouse and it's time in trouble. Oh. You're, get, you're getting your first vaccine shot next Tuesday. Uh, which one are you getting? Things are going bonkers here now. Last time I went to the doctor was a few years ago, and they asked me if I wanted a chlamydia test, and I had to forcefully tell her it won't be necessary. Um, I have wow. so many questions. I guess the, the main question I have is, did you have chlamydia? I guess you don't know, because you never took the test. You'll never know. You're getting the Pfizer, is you? Did you get Pfizer, Doug? I got one of mine is Pfizer, and the other one's yep. uh, Moderna. Oh, well, we're, we're twinsies. Nice. Yeah. You're not a. Oh, uh, you're not allowed to get vaccinated. That's too bad. Well, hopefully. Hopefully at some point, because I think people are better off being vaccinated. Oh, so James, maybe the doctor was asking you if you would like chlamydia. doctor's office <laughs> yeah <laughs> i like that horse Doug's looking good oh thanks it looks happy it looks like it's smiling yeah looks like it's a little bit it smoked a little bit of weed too it's cool. fair the one eye is like, what's up, homies? <laughs> Get uh, big plans this weekend then, Shane? What are you cooking? So here, here's, a, here's a secret of the trade. Um, every time there's a turkey thing, and this might not work for countries that don't have turkey things yeah um but here in canada anyway and i think specifically on the east coast i don't know about the rest of the country but i would assume it's the same uh every time there is turkey to be had prime rib goes on sale for like three days and it's half price yeah so tomorrow i'm going to the grocery store i am buying my next summer's worth of prime rib and I will cook one uh, for Thanksgiving dinner for myself. Yeah, I should go do that tomorrow, too. I looked it up. They just put out the flyer today. And it's normally not in the flyer. It's normally an in-store thing. It's 
uh, 20 or something off a pound. Oh, wow. It's cheaper than ground beef. Interesting. Yeah. This happens at Thanksgiving and at Christmas. Thanks for the tip. So probably that. I would like to make some um, gravy of some sort. I like uh, stuffing, but uh, I'm hoping... So my neighbors are super nice, and they have a very large family. And any time that I am here, uh, when they have these kinds of things, they usually bring me a plate of stuff, which is so nice of them. That's so nice, And it's nice, always yeah. super good, like... They smoked a turkey, not the last time, but the time before, like for a day before. And oh my God, it was good. And nice. their stuffing is really good, and their potatoes are good, and their turnips are good. So I probably hope they that. I remember too. you, because uh, now you're, you're getting all excited, and what if they forget about you this year? And you're like, ah. Oh, that's fine. I'm not expecting them to bring it. I'm just reminiscing about the times that I, that I did, and it was nice. Because, <clears throat> worst case scenario, I always cook myself a prime rib. So this is just a matter of, am I going to have three dinners? Because they always bring enough for two dinners, even though right. I live alone. <laughs> uh, or am I going to have one dinner, which, to be fair, is two dinners? Yeah. Uh, what about you? Are you doing Thanksgiving dinner of any kind? Yeah. Uh, the neighborhood's getting together, and... Um... Having a turkey, yeah, and uh, nice. some conscious thought into not like over doing it, you know, not mm -hmm. ha having enough food for two weeks later, uh, and also maybe a few lighter options. Yeah, so, that's a good yeah. idea. Yeah, it's just a little balance. So that's yeah, that's kind of the plan for 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 here. So should be good. That sounds amazing. I like that. So you are having a turkey, but the rest of the stuff is going to be more like there's lighter fare, some salads, perhaps. Uh, yeah. That's correct. But there will be some like uh, root vegetables and some right. purees, cranberries. And a so pumpkin pie, perhaps? I don't know. I don't know. I know dessert is coming. I just don't know in what form. So maybe. I am not sure that I have ever been to a Thanksgiving uh, where there was not pumpkin pie. Mm -hmm. That's fair. Not saying oh, that you apple. have to do it. Apple's another big one, too, because they're all picked. Yes. And I do love me some apple pie. Mm -hmm. You know what? I like a pie with no filling. I like a pie that's just crust. Yeah. Just crust. Ah, yes, the autoimmune flares when you get a va vaccinated. That's fair because that's what they're that's what it does. It boosts it your it kicks your immune system in. So, yeah. Does turkey taste like chicken-ish? Uh. Hmm. E oh, I'm glad it looks like your horse. A little bit like turkey-ish, like chicken-ish. It's different. It's like a mild. It's a denser. It's a denser yeah. meat. But I prefer. Mm, it's not mm. as juicy as chicken. It can be if you cook it right. Fair. Also, dark meat is better. Amazing. Than, yeah. White. Than what? Than the white meat. It is different. Yeah, like James says, slightly different but similar. But it is different, and texture is different too. Uh, yeah, Ellie, just uh, reach out direct. That's cool. Isn't it more duckish tasting? No, nothing beats duck. <laughs> uh, yeah, duck's one of my favorites. I have a duck in the freezer, and I wanted to do duck with the turkey, but yeah, that's... was told that's too much bird. Hey, was that the same duck that we were going to cook last time I was at your place, but we didn't? <laughs> like in April, yeah. It is, though, is it? It is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You should save it for the next time I come over. We'll do the You duck. should come over soon. I don't like leaving meat in the freezer that long. That's a fair reason for me to come over. <laughs> <laughs> T 
Doug's real precious about the meat in the freezer. We're gonna <laughs> better get over there and eat us. <laughs> better, better, better get a, better visit Doug. <laughs> the duck's been in there for a couple months. <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot like that. <laughs> a duck is gorgeous. It is. It is. Yeah. It absolutely is. Yeah. One of the things, so I, I did, I cooked for a number of years, and one of my favorite things to cook at the restaurant was duck, and it's oh, okay. because the the fat rendered in the pan, and then we would save all that fat, and we would use it for stuff like uh, potatoes, you know, yeah, like potatoes, and and just having a bunch of duck fat around in the kitchen is so dangerous because. <laughs> It's it's almost like you're like oh I have ice cream you know what will go good on this duck fat. duck fat <laughs> yeah <laughs> you just want to put it on everything <laughs> they are very sweet animals absolutely you should get them some buttons and teach them how to talk mm-hmm. they're not that smart our my neighbors had a duck uh, Indian runner duck who was my friend I actually have pictures of me in the lake with uh, little peep great and name. they had to had had to get rid of them. He was fighting with the dogs. <laughs> poison. Poison duck is delicious, yes. Mm-hmm. Also, orange duck. We used to do some orange duck stuff. Grand Marnier. Oh, Flambe. Wow. With wow. the flames and the deliciousness. I do like that horse, Doug. It's very... Oh, okay. Thanks. Horseish. Yeah, we did the horse. We did... Stretchy gal. Yeah. The stretch you only do once. Yep. We got pumpkin butt. (laughs) (laughs) Emily Life Model. Yeah. Emily Emily Life Modeling again with what you think is her head bleeding. We're we're a little, a little we, uh, no we're good oh a little we low. were a little we we were a little out of focus at one point but I think we're good now Ooh, let me put it on this there you go Looking there you good. go and then uh, Emily life modeling in our pentagram are those ca- candles lit Doug they sure are there you go you know what else is lit. All you guys, thanks so much for joining us tonight. Yeah, thank you. Really love having you guys here. We'll be back next week, the 14th yeah. of October. We'll see you then. Uh, one last one last thing. Uh, it is Canadian Thanksgiving. Yep. I am very thankful for Doug, actually, and for all you in chat. Very thankful to have you here. We love you guys. Thanks so much for hanging out. Happy Canadian Thanksgiving. Bye. Bye Bye-bye.